Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Janae Jackson and I help small business owners grow and market their businesses online. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I move email newsletters, email templates and the like from Flowdesk and into Go High Level. Now, if you don't know already, Go High Level is the best CRM and customer business management software on the market. And one of the awesome features that they that they offer is email marketing. And so I am moving my clients from their current email marketing providers, for example, MailChimp, Flowdesk and the like on over into our Go High Level system. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Move emails from Flowdesk into Go High Level. So here we have your Flowdesk and currently I'm using, let's see here, if I, let's just go to the home page and I'll show you which sequence I'm using at the moment. So if I go to workflows, nurture sequence 2021. So in here, I've already moved over most of the emails, but I just want to show you how I'm doing it a quick and easy, simple way. So if you want to move over any other emails, you can do so. Or if you want to create new emails from scratch, you can do so as well. So here, let's do this email right here. The three C's, the three self C's, five ways to practice self-compassion. So I would go ahead in here and let's go edit. And you can kind of see what that email looks like in Flowdesk. And over here, I've created a similar template. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I've named it Clone Me. So you already know, this is where you wanna start. And this has mostly everything formatted to how you had it before in Flowdesk. So we're gonna go ahead and clone. And let's see how you have it named. Let's see, how was I able, here it is. So your subject line is, are you showing your self-compassion? So I'm just gonna copy that and that's gonna be the subject over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit clone. And then I'm going to edit. And you can see it's similar. For the previous emails, you had an image up here and then you had a headline and then you had the wording. Um, you know, it's just stylistic choice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and stick with the layout that I have here. So we have an image that I can click and right click and save the image. And then here is kind of your headline so I'm gonna copy that. And then you have like a sub headline. So I'm just gonna copy that whole thing and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna paste it. All right, I'm gonna make sure I center it. I'm currently using Times New Roman and we're gonna change this to heading. And let's make it a little bit bigger, 21, let's make it 30. Let's see if we make it even bigger. Yeah, that looks really good. And this one we can make a little bit smaller. And we can maybe make it a little bit different. And then here we're gonna copy exactly what you have here. Get rid of this and paste. And you can leave it left aligned, you can center align it. Let's leave it left aligned. Let's make it New Times Roman, size 18. That looks good. And then we wanna add first name in here. 
So we're going to add custom value, first name. Make sure there's a space there. All right, so there we have it. And then you have another subheadline down here, which is the blog post. So I can keep it all in the same box and just skip another line, center align it, make it bigger, and then copy the link from over here that you already have, perfect. Read the blog post. All right. And oh, let's make it a little smaller because I think your emails look great. No need to change them up too much. Let's give it a little space there. I could change this to this color if I like um, from the, the template that I kind of used as a guide. The button was black, so I just used that for the default template, but you can absolutely change it if you like. And then you have this little subsection here. Stay tuned for our blog on self-care next. Okay. Let's go ahead and copy paste that here. All right. Let's format the font. Perfect. I like it like that. Maybe make it a little bigger. Yep, that looks great. And I don't think we need this Facebook button here or this, so we'll just take it out. And there you have it. Oh, we have to add the image that we saved, so I'm going to go here. Replace the image, add a file, there it is, upload, and here it is, et voila. So you have it here already, so actually I think we can just take this one out and bring this up a little bit. Perfect. And that's kind of how I've been duplicating your emails from Flowdesk. Most important thing is to make sure that the links are correct. So it's the link to the blog post. And then these have been pre-filled for you with the correct social media handles. So I'm just going to come up and I'm going to save. Make sure that I see the correct time that it is now. And then I'm going to exit. And then if I want to go in and edit any stylistic things, I can absolutely go in and do so. Oh, I think I forgot to add this little snippet at the bottom. So let's just go ahead and do that. I like to duplicate things. Duplicate, and then you have it under your signature, like that. Then I'm gonna copy, take all of this out and paste, format, it's kind of time consuming, but you know, once you get it done, 
once you're good to go follow over there All right, because you've been promoting the Facebook group in all of the previous emails. So I think it's a great idea that you're switching things up with promoting Pinterest. And we're going to save and exit. That's it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and complete this workflow and copy over all of these emails. Um, I just wanted to show you how you're able to do it yourself. You can clone this or you can go in and edit the default that I've created so that your subsequent emails will be formatted however you like. And uh, yeah, that's an easy way to just you know, create blast emails or continue to add to your newsletter series. Very, very, very important. So once you have stylized your email and input all of the content, you want to go ahead and copy the subject line of the email and you want to go to settings of that particular email and make sure that you're copying and pasting over that subject headline because by default it's going to take that of the cloned email so make sure you're changing the subject line under settings for all of your emails so before you hit the save just copy it from here right, because you copied it from Flowdesk or you made it up, then you want to make sure you go into settings and change the subject right there and hit save right there and then save on the overall email before you're actually finished, okay? Or you can actually see the name of the email right here too, internal email name. You can name that the same thing as your subject line or you can name it something different. The from name and the from email address have already been inputted for you. That's it. Bye.